Here with me is Michael French from the Patria community. What is Patria? Uh, Patria is actually a network of communities. Uh, it's made up of, uh, in uh, the U.S. and around the world, of pastors, uh, itinerant ministry leaders, or what would be much more like communities as you talk about here at ENC, and then some business leaders that come together in common relationship for fellowship and accountability with one another. So. Here we are at the ENC gathering, the European Network of Communities may in some ways be similar, in other ways different. What are the similarities, what are the differences? Yes, some of the similarities are that we are a family of ministries or a family of communities very similar to ENC. In fact, Patria is a Greek word that actually means family, tribe, or nation. In some languages it may actually mean father, but the concept remains the same. It's this family idea. So we're a family of ministries. We actually relate predominantly, instead of to the community or to the ministry itself, we relate to the leader or to a leader. And then through our interaction with them, as they then interact with their community or their uh, a fellowship, uh, the, the connection is made to that bigger group then. So that's probably the primary similarity. It's just this, it's built around the idea of support and fellowship and relationship and this idea of this commonality, a similar DNA, uh, very much like what I've seen and heard here at ENC. One of the things that's slightly different, which I think is amazing, is we're very ecumenical just as, as ENC is, whereas ENC is many, uh, are more uh, built in the Catholic community uh, with some Protestant connections. Uh, Patria is actually more Protestant with some Catholic connections. So it's a very interesting sort of reverse view of the way it's been grown. Uh, the, probably the other um, uh, little difference would be that we uh, also serve as a credentialing organization in the United States for those leaders who need ordination or licensing in order to fulfill their ministry callings. Of course, we believe you can fulfill a ministry calling without you, you know, the U.S. version of licensing or ordination, but we provide that service to our members who are in need of that. We also do training and uh, 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 support for their leadership teams, uh, structural support, things of that nature. So a lot, of, a lot more similarities probably than there are differences. Well, how did the first contact with ENC come to pass? Uh, that, that's actually a great question. We were visiting or came to visit Slovakia. Uh, we have a, a it's a, lo, a roundabout story, which is like a God story, right? We were uh, have a friend who is a prophetic leader in Ireland. His son, uh, Aaron McCauley and Marta McCauley, his wife, Marta is Slovakian, so they live in Budmaris outside of uh, Bratislava. So we came to Slovakia to visit them. They set up just some various little speaking times, meet some people, small meetings, prayer meetings, things of that nature. And one of those ended up being actually a little bigger than we all realized, which was at the, um, the community at, in Bratislava of Martinsdom. And so we did a couple of uh, sessions with Martinsdom, and then they had me come in for one of their Sunday masses, uh, the, the after mass uh, service, and just built a great relationship with Mario and Michael Steiner at Martinsdom. And that was our first connection to anybody connected to ENC. That we had a great conversation over dinner about ENC, but still just didn't really get it or ha understand what it was. A few months after going home, we got an email that said, Hey, do you understand what ENC is? And we're trying to explain it. And we realized the similarities with Patria at that point, And the invitation came then to join you at ENC this year. So it was, it was, a, it was from, from U.S. to Ireland to a friend's house in Slovakia to Martinsdom to here at the ENC conference. Yeah, I think this is a good example to see how networking in the kingdom of God happens. There's one more question I have. Uh, you two are a family, so do f how do families gatherings happen? How do you celebrate as a family? But perhaps this question should go to your wife. Yes, that'd be good. Oh, community life, family life also consists of celebration. How do you celebrate family in your community network? Uh, well, we do the same thing similar to ENC. We have a yearly conference that we all gather 
and we we have worship we experience we share our experiences of how each community is different and we realize how much we need each other and so one of the ways we celebrate is through sharing how God has worked in our lives through that year and I think it helps other people grow and it, it inspires other people to say wow if you can do that then we can do that too it may not be exactly the same but we grow from learning from one another. Thank you very much. And may this be an inspiration to many others to seek relationships in the kingdom of God and to celebrate community life as a family, the family of God. Thank you very much. Yeah.